Hey Taurus, Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. How are you guys doing? So glad to be doing this reading for you. This is a good one, Taurus. This is, this is a good one. It really is. So let's just get straight into it. If you'd like a reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. As usual, this is a general read for the sign of Taurus. This is not your personal reading, right? This is a general reading for the sign of Taurus. You may see yourself somewhere in here. You may not. Um, if you do, just know that I am not talking to you or about you, okay? This is just a general theme that could be playing out in, a, in some way in your life. For example, I had a lady... Uh, meet with me the other day and she has been watching the king of wands saga right and uh she just knew she was going to reunite and reconcile with someone from her past well lo and behold um she reconnected with her high school sweetheart on facebook right reconnected with her high school sweetheart on facebook and they met up for coffee and she was watching all the general readings right and she was like yes Yes, these generals are on point. This is what's happening in my life. This is amazing. Well, she goes to meet her high school sweetheart for coffee. And um, lo and behold, he is happily married with a house full of children, right? And she was devastated because she just knew that she was going to reunite with someone from her past. Well, you know what? Did she? Yeah, she did. She reunited with someone from her past, but the King of Wands saga was not her story, right? This is driving me crazy. Excuse me, you guys. I don't know what the hell this is about, but it's driving me nuts in my eyes. So did she reunite and reconcile? Yeah, she did. She, re she reunited. There was nothing to reconcile because they didn't have differences, right? But it did not turn out the way that the King of Wands saga was going, and she was just devastated. So word. This is not your reading, okay? Not for you. All right, deepthoughtswithdana.com if you want a reading from me. More clarification, confirmation, understanding, or reach out to anybody else, right? Your favorite person, somebody that you trust and connect with. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be me, but just don't, don't depend on this, okay? So here we go, Taurus. Taurus. Taurus, we open up with the Prince of Swords, right? This Prince of Swords is some kind of communication that's coming into you. It's coming into you about feelings, okay? So there's some kind of communication coming into you that has to do with feelings. This is the King of Cups. This is the card of Scorpio. Don't know if that means anything to you or not. It's a water energy, right? Could be, could be Pisces, could be Cancer, but it is the card of Scorpio. Um, but anyway, there are feeling, there's communication coming into you about feelings, right? About feelings. This puts you, puts you at a crossroads with the Two of Swords energy, right? Total and complete crossroads, right? Confusion, just like, uh, right? To the Nine of Cups. About if this King of Cups who is bringing you in this communication about feelings has the potential to be wishes fulfilled, come for happiness and satisfaction, right? Taurus is like, meh, not real sure, not real sure. Puts you in the moon energy, right? Searching your subconscious mind, searching your intuition, some fear, some anxiety, right? Dealing with things in your subconscious mind, right? What are you dealing with, Taurus? Well, the Queen of Wands in reverse, you're dealing with insecurity, right? A lot of insecurity about this communication that's coming into you about feelings. To the Ten of Wands, because it has been a burden and a struggle up until this point. It's been a burden and a struggle and now there is accomplishment being offered, right? I'm going to tell you right now, this is about the King of Wands, okay? This is about reuniting or reconciling with the King of Wands, straight up. So you're in your mind, in your subconscious mind, dealing with a lot of insecurity with the Queen of Wands in reverse, right? Maybe a little anger too, right? Ten of Wands comes in and says this is a burden and a struggle for you. Um, but now there's accomplishment being offered, right? 
What's on the table? The Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of a brand new beginning is on the table, right? So just to reiterate, communication comes into you with the King of Cups. Communication comes into you about feelings, right? It puts you at a crossroads. Don't know what to do. Don't know what to think. And for sure are contemplating if this is something that can be a Nine of Cups type of thing. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. Struggling with your subconscious mind. Feeling insecure about what's happening. Perhaps a little angry about what has gone down in the past. This whole thing has been a burden and a struggle for you. And now accomplishment and the manifestation of a new beginning is on the table in front of you. Virtue, right? Virtuous. This card is about taking the high road. This card is about doing the right thing, right? To the high priestess in your subconscious mind and your intuition, just like the moon card, but elevated, right? In your subconscious mind, in your intuition, maybe even sitting down with your higher power and going, what the hell, right? To the Ten of Swords in reverse, because somebody is trying to resurrect something from the dead. To the Prince of Pentacles, somebody's trying to resurrect something from the dead, and you haven't heard from them in a long time. Slow moving energy with the Prince of Pentacles, right? Because this guy's job is to walk the kingdom. It's to walk the perimeter of the kingdom and make sure the fences are tight. It's to make sure the crops are growing, the workers are working. Everybody has the resources that they need to grow the kingdom, to grow the future, right? This is an all day, every day kind of job. The action of this night is to implement the growth of the kingdom. That's why it's so slow, because it takes forever, all day, every day. It takes forever for him to do it. So you haven't heard from this person in a good minute, and you're trying to make the right decision. You're trying to, to, to do what's best for you in your subconscious mind, in your intuition, tossing this around over and over again because somebody wants to resurrect something from the dead, but they haven't been around for a good minute. All you can think about in that high priestess energy is the debauchery from the past right? This, this person has, has, has not had good behavior with you. They have not, they, 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 they're, they're, they have created debauchery in the whole situation. Four of Cups comes in and says, you're contemplating and you're reevaluating, but what you keep coming back to is the Six of Wands in reverse, right? The state of disrepute and the fall from grace, the original catalyst that broke up this reunion, this union in the first place, or perhaps the, the, the original catalyst that caused this whole thing to not make at all in the first place, right? Fall from grace, state of disrepute. Interesting. Here he is, the king of wands, right? To the card luxury. Luxury is about having something that would make your life nice, but not necessary. And that's how you feel about the King of Wands, Taurus. You're like, eh, it'd be nice to have him in my life, but it's really not necessary for me to be happy. That's the point that you've come to, right? Because this was dead and gone. Dead and gone, long time ago. And now Taurus is like, yeah, it'd be nice, but don't need it, right? To the King of Wands. The Star card. Hope. Faith purpose and renewal. Renewal is what's on the table. The Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of a brand new beginning. Renewal is on the table, Taurus. But guess what? All Taurus can think about is cruelty. All Taurus can think about is the Nine of Swords, right? All Taurus can think about is being hesitant, defensive, and paranoid because of the shit that went down with this King of Wands, the, the debauchery, the fall from grace, the state of disrepute that has gone on with this King of Wands character um, since the beginning. 
in the center of your reading. The Queen of Cups, your feelings, the Queen of Love. She's about emotional security. She's calm, cool, collected. She knows that she knows that she knows who she is, where she belongs, and how she feels about a situation. Judgment. This Queen of Cups, you in your feels, Taurus, is about to make a decision, a life-altering decision. This is the Archangel Gabriel blowing the horn on Judgment Day, resurrecting the dead from the grave, right? That's what this King of Wands wants to do. They want to resurrect this relationship from the dead, right? You are making a decision, a life-altering decision that is going to bring absolution to the situation one way or or another. It's doing some soul searching and some introspection, seeking some inner guidance in the hermit energy. The Prince of Swords, about what action it is that you should take. What action should you take on this, Taurus? What should you do? What should you do? You have this King of Wands character that is, this is driving me fucking crazy. You have this King of Wands character that is coming back from the past, wanting to resurrect the dead from the grave, offering renewal, hope, faith, purpose, the Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of a brand new opportunity, right? But all you can keep thinking about was the debauchery that this person created in the past. All you can keep thinking about is what an idiot this person has been to you, right? In the Queen of Cups, right? About to make a huge decision, doing some soul searching and some introspection about the action, the direction that you should take. The Tower in Reverse. This is about averting disaster. Averting disaster. So Taurus goes into the hermit energy and, and is thinking about their feelings, wondering what direction they should take, and they come out of the hermit energy with the tower in reverse. Averting disaster. To the Six of Cups, when it comes to reuniting or reconciling with somebody from your past. To the Nine of Pentacles, bringing the shit to a culmination. Nines are about fruition, attainment, completions, right? Conclusions, bringing it all to a conclusion. Why? How? What? Where? When? Why? How? Right? Because you're building your life. This card, the art card, it's about having a clean and fresh canvas by which to paint the picture of your life the way that you would like it to be. This is about having a clean slate and building the life that you want, right? To the Hierophant in reverse. This is about your personal beliefs. What do you believe about you? Where's your place in the world? Where's your place in your family, in your community? What are your beliefs, right? And once you figure out what your beliefs are, this turns from, from, from your personal beliefs into freedom, right? Because once you figure out, once you release the beliefs of the Hierophant upright, institutionalism, traditions, society, right? Once you figure out who you are, what you're doing, and where your place in the grand scheme of things is, it brings freedom, Taurus. Freedom. So what, what these two cards say is, is that you're bringing, you're bringing all of this to a culmination, right? You're going to avert disaster. You're not going to reunite and reconcile with this King of Wands person from your past, right? You're bringing it to a culmination because you are creating your own life and you're doing just fine without this King of Wands. Is it something that would be nice to have? Yeah. Is it necessary? No. Because you've come a long way, baby. You've come a long way and you are creating life the way that you want it to be. And you have an overwhelming sense of freedom when it comes to your future. Swiftness, right? 
This is the Eight of Wands. Action, movement, speed, swift change. Swift change, an energetic change in the situation. To the Eight of Pentacles, what are you going to do? You're going to engage. You are going to learn and you are going to gain mastery of your belief system and your life. Death in reverse. This is a personal transformation. It's a personal transformation because you used to think that this King of Wands was your knight in shining armor. Now, not so much. Not so much. This is a card about being unrealistic, right? Personal transformation, realizing that this, this Prince of Cups is not your knight in shining armor anymore. To the Three of Wands, right? Expansion. You have moved past what this King of Wands has to offer you. You have moved past it. You've matured. You've grown. You've learned about yourself and about life and what it takes to create what it is that you want. You have reevaluated your belief system about what a relationship is, what this Knight of, of, of Wands has to offer. Um, you know, you're like the King of Fire. Meh. There was, there was one time when I thought the King of Fire was the shit. But you know what? Not so much anymore. Not so much anymore. Because you've had a personal transformation. And you've expanded. And you've grown. Gain. Nothing to lose and everything to gain, Taurus. Nothing to lose. Everything to gain. And it's taken a good amount of strength for you to get here because you were caught up on this king of wands hard, hard, hard. And now you see it for what it is, right? Now you see it for what it is. Four of pentacles in reverse. This is about protecting yourself, protecting yourself from, and we're going to get to that. This is about protecting yourself. Okay. The emperor in reverse. This is about self-discipline, right? The need to apply self-discipline to the situation. And temperance in reverse is self-healing, right? Some, some inner healing, some self-healing, right? Nothing to lose, everything to gain. You, you, was it easy to get here? No. Is it going to be easy to go into the future? No. <coughs> but you know what? You can do it. You can do it. You've done it, right? Self-protection, self-discipline, self-healing. I think I need to get my bangs cut. <laughs> Failure, okay? Why? Why did you need self-protection with the four of pentacles in reverse? Why self-protection? Because what's on the table, in addition to the manifestation of a brand new beginning, in addition to renewal, hope, faith, purpose, right? Is failure. Failure's on the table too, Taurus. Why? Why is failure on the table? Well, because at one point you were enthusiastic exploration, discovery, right? You were enthusiastic about, about, about reuniting and reconciling with this King of Wands. But all you can remember is, is the breakup, is the misalignment of values, is, is the debauchery that this King of Wands has created in your life. Seven of Swords, the betrayal, the deception, the shady behavior. To the Two of Wands. And you don't want to carry that shit into your future. You don't. You don't want to carry it into your future. Four of Swords, right? This is, this is contemplating, but it's contemplating in a defensive posture. Because he has three swords on the wall behind him as trophy, but he still has one sword by his side, which means he still has a battle to fight right? 
This is contemplating in a self-defensive posture as to what your next move is going to be. Your next move is the two cups in reverse, a breakup, a misalignment of values, a lack of harmony in a relationship. Because this king of wands can't seem to focus just on you. This king of wands seems to need to have a lot of different energies around them. They're probably a narcissist. They probably need to be fueled, right? The king of fire, the king of fire, he flames, right? He, he rages, he torches all over the place, but fire can't last forever. Fire has to consume something to keep the fire going. And your king of wands, Taurus, needs to consume the admiration, the appreciation, and the attention of a lot of different energies. And quite frankly, that doesn't sit well with the Taurus. King of Wands in reverse. This is somebody that is abusive, okay? Abusive with the Three of Cups in reverse. This is somebody who has a disregard for how anything makes you feel. This is a misuse of power. The power being your feelings for the King of Wands, right? And the King of Wands misuses that power and can't seem to stop consuming other energies in order to fuel their narcissism. Guess what, though? The Fool. You about to head out on a brand new beginning and a brand new journey in your life, Taurus. This is preparing for a quantum leap. This is following your heart's desire and preparing for a quantum leap to the three of pentacles because you have learned what you need to learn. I know everybody, this is about teamwork and collaboration. People seem to forget that this card is about learning as well. You have learned what you need to learn, Taurus. To the queen of cups, and you are in a state of emotional security. Calm, cool, collected, emotionally controlled, emotionally collected. And you know, you know that this Three of Cups bullshit is not what you want in your life. It's not what you want in your life. This King of Wands has caused debauchery and upheaval, fall from grace, a state of disrepute over and over and over again for you. You thought they were your knight in shining armor, but you've learned that they're not. And now you're in a state of emotional fulfillment, emotional control, emotional security. Two, guess what? The Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. This Knight of Cups is about somebody that is in touch with their intuition and their emotions. And they are prepared to move into the future in a state of emotional security, emotional security, okay? Emotional security, emotional security. Look what, I mean, look. Emotional security, emotional security, emotional security. You are good, Taurus. You're good without the King of Wands. Success, right on. Success. I mean, woohoo! <laughs> right? Success. To judgment in reverse because you did not answer the call. The call of what? The call of the King of Wands. You did not answer the call. Death. You put an end to it. You put an end to it, and now there's going to be change transformation in your life because you put an end to your energetic ties to this king of wands character five of pentacles left it out in the cold not having anything to do with it and this my friend brings you wishes fulfilled comfort happiness and satisfaction 
a quantum leap forward, a new beginning and a new journey. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal all on your own. Yay, Taurus. Team Taurus. Death, right? An ending. An absolute ending to it all. You're like, thanks, but no thanks. An ending. A change in your life. A transformation in the way that you move forward from this point forward hmm. to the emperor. Look, you put an end to the emperor, right? This king of wands character, this person who thinks that they are all of that in a bag of chips too, right? Taurus is like, no, bro. No, just not interested anymore. Sorry. <laughs> indolence right this is the eight of cups indolence disappointment just just disappointment Ugh, just disappointing you're disappointing to defeat right that's all you have to that, 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 that that's that's what's on the table Taurus disappointment defeat interference right with the eight of swords mental just constant mental because of this person's constant need to consume. Their constant need to fuel their fire so they can burn big and bright because they can't do it on their own. They have to consume the attention of everybody else to keep them in an elevated state of mind. And without the attention of everybody else, their flame burns out and they are forced to face the pile of ashes that they really are. Wow. I don't know where that came from. Interference. Mind. Right? In your mind. All the time. In your mind. You don't need that, Taurus. You don't need that. Again, the Knight of Cups. Right? The Knight of Cups. You are in touch with your emotions and your intuition. You are emotionally whole and you don't need the King of Wands sucking your energy. Strength. Again, strength. It has taken you some strength to get here. It has. This has been a long and torrid journey with the King of Wands. And it has taken you some strength to get here. It's taken you some strength to realize your power. It's taken you some strength to come into a state of emotional security when it comes to this King of Wands character. And lo and behold, the Ten of Cups. Happiness, harmony, values alignment in your life, in your relationships, in your marriages. That's beautiful, Taurus. Beautiful. You can proceed forward from this point forward knowing that happiness is on the horizon for you happiness because you are emotionally okay you are strong in your emotions and you know you're not going to let this this king of fire this king of wands you're not going to let him or her consume you anymore you're not going to do it. You are creating your own canvas of life, Taurus, and you're painting the picture of, of the way you want your life to be. The Hierophant in reverse, your personal beliefs, right? You don't believe that this King of Wands is beneficial to your life. Why not? Because he's clarified by the card luxury, something nice to have but you don't need it. You don't need the King of Wands. And I think up until this point, there's been some part of you that thinks that you do need the King of Wands, but you don't. You don't need the King of Wands. You don't need the King of Wands to be successful. You don't need the King of Wands to be happy. You don't need the King of Wands to move into your future because you've learned what it is that you needed to learn and you are headed out on a new beginning and a new journey, you're about to take a quantum leap, Taurus, a quantum leap into your future without the King of Wands. 
hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. This is beautiful. I'm so glad <laughs> to have this King of Wands energy finally dissipating. And perhaps we can start talking about something new, Taurus. Y'all go out there. You meet people. You, you get involved in your community. Do things. Go to, 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 to yoga or water aerobics or go ride your horses or go race your cars. Get out of your mental and get out there and do things and meet people. So y'all can bring some energy back to me so we can start reading about this new beginning and this new journey with the, with the Fool card. Bring me some stuff so we can make some amazing readings so we can see what it is that's coming down the road in the collective. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful reading, Taurus. This is a beautiful reading. Even though you may have identified with it, even though you may feel it, right? Everybody's journey is different. Everybody's story is different. And if you're good with this, then I'm good with it. But if you'd like some more information, reach out to me for a personal reading. DeepThoughtsWithDana.com. Link in the box below. Whew! Namaste.